Ties can say a lot about a man. They can tell us about his personality, his position in life, and his sense of personal style. Ties come in a variety of different fabrics, but a good quality silk tie is considered the most luxurious and the most classic. An easy way to tell if a tie is good quality is by taking the tie, squishing it between your hands, and letting go. A good quality tie should fall back to its natural shape. A very classic width for a tie would be between three and a quarter to three and three quarter inches wide. Today we're going to be talking about the four in hand knot. This is one of the easiest knots to learn and it's also the narrowest knot. It tends to work really well with stiffer fabrics and fabrics that have a little bit of texture. We start with the wide end of the tie on the right, about 12 inches longer than the narrow end on the left. We cross the wide end over the narrow end and bring it back around towards the right. We create a little bridge with our fingers and cross the wide end around to the left again, up through the loop and then down through the knot, holding the back of the tie we gradually slide the knot up towards the neck pinching the front of the tie to create a little dimple. This knot style works really well for somebody with a narrower face, a narrower build, and a narrower neck, or somebody that is on the shorter side with a shorter neck. As you can see, our model has a medium build, so a half Windsor would work particularly well for him. This style also works really well with a point collar, a button-down collar, and a standard shirt collar as well. So today we talked about the four in hand. Next time we're going to be talking about the half Windsor.